And first up is Nina Jantz from the Luxembourg Center for Contemporary and Digital History at the University of Luxembourg. And she will tell us about the student project with wall letters. The floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you so much for the invite and possibility to speak here and to present uh, my little, really little student project. Um, a few... Can you use the mouse? Ah, okay. A few um, dates or like frame, uh, what was it about? So I'm right now in, in a research project uh, focusing on the war experience of the Luxembourgish men who were conscripted by the German Wehrmacht who had to fight for the Germans. So they were not Germans, but they had to fight. So we have a lot of uh, front letters from this um, um, soldiers. It was a crowdsourcing campaign, but I could also talk about it, but this is not for today. And um, so we have a lot of, like I said, war letters uh, from the front and from home. The challenge is so far, this material is very diverse. So we have many languages. It's, it's, it's written in different handwriting. So we have around 5,000 letters and uh, 20 diaries. So it is quite diverse, like I already said. Um, the language, most of the men, Luxembourgers use German because of a censorship. So, but still some sentences are in Luxembourg and in um, French, but there is no model, for example, uh, in transcribers for Luxembourg, so, but we will work on that, it's just like the next project. Anyway, so we have a master's program for the um, students at our uh, university. It's a very small one, so we don't have even a bachelor in history, so we have a bachelor um, culture européenne, so they, they study different um, disciplines like also culture, language and uh, history, but the master program is uh, a program in well, contemporary European um, history with a strong focus on digital history. So this is like quite nice, so the students are uh, trained also in other tools. My seminar was an optional seminar for the students, so um, you can, might maybe laugh, seven signed up, so it was quite nice, uh, so of course nice, so you can work with them quite, um, um, well, you can work with them, with, uh, they can work very independently, and so seven students were in my optional seminar. We had only 90 minutes every week, um, and we had around 13 lessons, like no, 13 classes, let's say, from, um, from the last summer semester, um, which ran in Luxembourg from February to March, to May, to May even, so. As, as a frame, I cannot, it's pretty good. So the procedure. Um, from the crowdsourcing campaign, the letters were completely digitized. I mean, they were just scanned, that's it, right? So they were mostly in PDF documents to, to open them very easily. Uh, they were stored at the university server, very easy, with like folders, so also nothing special. And um, for this um, small uh, student project, I chose a little collection. So it was a case study about the war experience between home and the front. It was important that we have also like the home side, not only from the front, but like uh, kind of from both sides. And um, we chose a collection uh, from the family Pierre, who had two brothers. One deserted and one died in the war, unfortunately. So it's, this is a very rich collection. So, and as already said, um, very diverse handwritings and like um, around um, four or five main protagonists in the letter correspondence. So this, like I said, this uh, documents were already <laughs> digitized and so on. Um, before we, we um, well, before I started, I had to think of a workflow. I mean, seven students, but still we needed like, of course, like a common project, uh, like, a, um, like a common workflow, what to do. So after I um, introduced um, tr transcribers, and here to say, maybe I didn't mention that before, it's on the slide, uh, this was for Transcribe Slide. So it was like a, a hands-on training session with Transcribe Slide. I introduced them. Um, also, I shared all the guides and the online videos. So it was really like, please, uh, I train, I give you like training, but you have to, of course, um, look it up yourself. 
I introduced the topic itself, like war letters in general, uh, what is it about, like the topic, etc. And um, we, our, our more aim was to work with eager documents. So this whole class was not only about transcribers and using digital tools, but it's also about um, source criticism, working with, um, like I said, eager documents um, to learn um, a private archival material, actually, because they, they mostly used um, state documents for their studies. So it was like more than just transcribers. Um, so back to my workflow. So it was quite challenging to come up with something. Um, of course, we had a collection, like a common collection. Every student signed up, and we were working on a common collection um, because it's like, as you know, like um, crowd working in transcriber slide. But I still had to do like a protocol for the workflow on, because this uh, seminar was graded. So I needed, of course, to check right what they are doing. So it was quite challenging, like I said, um, to to find something because our scans were just lying there on the server. So of course we had like a shared folder uh, where, where they could work on. And what um, I did, I um, grouped them into people, like, like two, um, well, students were working together, but it was also to teach or to, to, to give them like the independence to create like an own research workflow. You know, like to be also like a little bit project management. So what's the best? Um, so for example, um, they did it like one document to, uh, together, one um, did the editing, one other did the review, and then they, they changed. So I, of course I needed to check that if they did it or not. So it was quite, um, also for me, a lot of work, but um, so we need, of course, like uploading the documents and then running the layout analysis and text recognition. And then, like I said, edit corrections of the transcriptions. Um, then um, it's uh, about the metadata. I, I, I decided for the workflow for this protocol uh, to use a Google Doc, very easy. Um, not only for the metadata, this would have been step two. Of course, I, we can we all know that we can put metadata in transcribers, but this Google Sheet was um, also for this protocol, also for me, because the scans were not named, for example, and so they had to name like this, like the scans, like you say, see here in the um, in the um, reference number, um, um, cut is for is 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 French for reference. Thank you. Yeah, so this is um, we were working on, but uh, they had, of course, a little bit more to do. So as I said, it was not only teaching them use digital tools, it was, of course, like digital source criticism as well, of course, but also that they understand the process. So it was um, like a research on and reading the war letters, like I said, then implement the transcriptions uh, in the research process, for example. Um, we had also weekly research journals. Um, so it was also, of course, to, to give them the input for the like think, thinking a bit more, thinking also about the um, people writing. So it was also like topic, right? So also the content, what do they write in war letters about the war? Uh, can we see that the front is like represented in the war letters, right? It's not, well, like, as we know. So it was also for them keep like thinking what they're doing, like, like I said, with this um, special document. Then they had to like um, also improve their self-organization. So they had to come up with, with meetings, uh, what to improve, what to do better in the workflow or also in the protocol. So maybe they had even better ideas than me. So I'm also, of course, like learning. Um, and so they also, so we worked to, uh, together, for example, on this workflow. The challenges. Um, so transcriber slides is, is, is a good introduction for transcribers, but um, we had some challenges because the letters were sometimes um, very nicely, so it worked quite nice, um, but we had problems to turn pages. I mean, I was in, in together, I spoke with, um, with the uh, ReadCorp team, and it's not possible yet, but I know you want to 
implement it, but you can turn uh, the pages. Um, so this was not possible because some letters were like, you know, like written on the, um, they um, turned the letters to, to, uh, to write something. Then multiple languages, um, like Luxembourgish text region. So Luxembourgish model doesn't exist yet. And for me, of course, checking, adapting the workflow, review students' work and the transcriptions every week. So it was, was quite intense. Lessons learned. Um, so preparation is key, like we also heard in the citizen science project. But what I, I, I noticed is like for the students, it was not um, satisfying. So they said, but what is it all about? This project was just for one semester. So of course, like training, um, learning uh, and transcribers also with the expert uh, and client takes, of course, a lot of time. So it's like kind of, I would love to, but they have like something like an output of it. So we didn't have one, for example, if we would create like a website or something. So they, sometimes they didn't get it. Sometimes they said, but is it, it's easier to just to do the transcriptions in, in Word and that's it, it's, it's, it's much quicker. So they need like a better like picture of it, why they're doing that. So this was missing in my seminar, unfortunately. Um, like I said, transcripts light uh, for first trials is nice for small projects, but um, the transcribers expert client have a the client <laughs> might be better choice and also to I was thinking first um, there would be too much for the students because it was just 90 minutes every week but actually they were very smart they were really engaged so of course I need and trust the students more and and really to challenge them in using transcribers um, the expert client and then the last slide um, results uh, were still quite satisfying. Um, so they had to create um, like a poster, like also an oral presentation, where they just also were asked about analysis of the war letters. Like I said, it was also like source criticism, like using ego documents, um, using uh, private material for the of the research, but also the impact of or the output of digital transcriptions as using transcriber slide. So it was like both to combined and this was quite successful. Thank you.